Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 145 and in this segment we're going to continue with the second half of our Milwaukee doubleheader to the Bush Series and the Allen Quickie 250 and this may go terribly probably if qualifying was in the indicator. Sports and the NASCAR Bush Series are set to bring you this year's running of the Allen Kawicki 250 here at the Milwaukee Mile. This race always brings out the best in these drivers, and we're sure to have another exciting event on our hands today. These Wisconsin race fans are on their feet as we get ready to drop the green flag. So yeah, I kind of extremely struggled in qualifying, and by that I mean, um, this car does not like turn one <laughs> at all. I, uh... I half spin the car on both of my laps in turn one, so because of that, I'm going to be starting dead last, 43rd. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's, uh... Oh, boy. Fuck it. Just put some rear downforce in, maybe... That'll stabilize it a bit, probably not, but hey, whatever. So here we go. Starting from the back here at Milwaukee for 62 more laps, this time in the cobbler. Away we go. Let's not die. Let's try not to die. Easy. Easy. That's where he'll stay. I'm so glad he had so much confidence in me. Oh god, that's right, they break very early for turn three. I've caused a mass oh god, I caused a massive crash. Taking out blue. My boy blue is dead. Whoopsie. And this was all my fault. That was just a chain reaction caused by me. I pushed a guy into another guy, into another guy, and around he went. Well the good news is blue doesn't lose any of his positions. There's that. So, let's regroup. Let's try that again, except without crashing people. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. So, here we go. Restart. That's one way to get positions, except I didn't because of how the cautions work in this game. start lap number five as we slide into turn one as the cobbler does. Oh, shit. There's a whole lane out here. I should probably use it instead of being an asshole. I got one. Oh yeah, but I passed him before the entire wreck happened. God, yeah, turn one is not going to go well for me. I can already tell. It's, it's going to be a source of a uh, uh, <laughs> source of a lot of pain and sadness. Chase for the oxy pills, 2005. Well then, I can. Oh, hi, Yaley's car is completely destroyed. Gee, I wonder what caused that. Hmm, thonking. Could have been that lap one crash. No, not at all. Oh yeah, I remembered a little too late that they break early for turn three. I tried to avoid. I, I tried to do evasive maneuvers. Car didn't like the evasive maneuver, so I just kind of accepted going into the grass. Ah, uh, well then, Forza Horizon Two Online is chaos. I mean, every online racing game is chaos, because nobody knows how to actually play the game. Online racing is literally, please punt me. It's an open invitation to get punted. That's the line there, 100%. Dude, that's like the 500 IQ line, come on. Sim racing. Sim racing is included in that. Because no one knows how to drive in sims either. Alright, anyways, let's try to make close this 
gap a little bit, maybe make up some positions. I'd rather not finish where I started. You know. God damn it. I'd like to enter turn one a little lower, but with trying to keep the car from freaking going ass first, and also the pit wall at turn one, it's a little bit difficult. Shit. I guess the good news is I have uh, 51 laps to try to fucking learn how to drive Milwaukee in this thing. Not sure if a good or bad thing. It's either going to be 50 laps of 51 laps of recovery or 51 laps of sadness. At least closing on the back of the field again. Hornaday is. <coughs> Excuse me. Hornaday has checked the fuck out. Like he's gone in the lead. By I mean by he's gone. I mean he has like a two second lead. One and a half or something. Here we go. Going for a move. Break them a little bit into turn three. Try to keep the car stable, keep the car on the bottom. Okay, back up to 42nd. And as I understeer almost into the wall. Whoopsie. Oh god. Please don't pinch me, especially here. Oh, that sounds like a fun day, Cam. I love going to the dentist. I love having my teeth raped. I like how as soon as I win the 42nd, I've completely forgotten how to drive all over again. Whoopsie. car. Well, your teeth was microns away from needing a root canal. Well then. Goddamn. That don't sound good. Oh, there's some contact up in front. I saw dim sparks. for moving to turn one because of the car and the way it does it misbehaves. Some really strong understeer through one and two that time. More than more so than usual. My god. My god gal grass. Okay we're good. Everything's fine. We're okay. Oh okay the uh undercutters are pitting. Cool. Doors open, I'm going for it. Three wide, suck my dick. On the brake, sliding around, and got him. Okay, cool. Mazda just got caught cheating emissions tests. What is with all the car companies cheating emissions tests? Other than, you know. It's like, hey, our emissions are, aren't are actually that bad. JK. Grass increases speed. That's the sim line, clearly. Oh boy, here we go. Now we got the back, uh, not the back markers, the undercutters exiting the pits. So now I have to deal with them and also everyone else I'm racing. This is going to be interesting.
So I'm in the effective, like, 40th place right now or something like that. Hooray. Too much understeer on the exit. Couldn't, uh, couldn't make the move. So close to that damn pit wall. have already pitted. You're one of the undercutters. This guy, I don't know how angry he is with me, but hopefully it's not too much. I'm sorry, David. The car is too unstable for this. Okay, he's not angry enough. <laughs> He'll block me, but he won't wreck me. Not make a move on the Ailey. Get one side out of two. He tried to defend, but got him. That's got to keep the car stable in the turn three. Easier said than done. Yeah, he gave me another spot. It only took like five laps to make that move. Another position. That was surprisingly easy. Meanwhile, Hornaday is still just gone. Hornaday's pulling a Kyle Bush here. Just absolutely dominating. Apron is a good idea, right? <laughs> That's the proper line. No, you don't, JJ. I said, no, you don't, JJ. Get off me, bum. A little bit scared about this pile of cars behind me. Not gonna lie. You've really mastered these left turns. Not really. <laughs> mastered me, I'm not. I mean, there's some left turns that are easy to master, you know, like Daytona, Talladega. That was a surprisingly easy pass. Also, only halfway on fuel as the end of lap 27. So I can probably go to like, let's see, about 48, 49 on fuel. Because factoring in those three caution laps. Big fuel window. Of course, I'm probably not going to go that long without paying, but I can if I so desire. Hey, chicane. Oh, God. What's up? Uh, the number of rivals I have in this game. I'm honestly surprised that he didn't get upset by that bump. Like, at all. It's okay. I'm just gonna get the spot back, as well as, like, 12 more. I see a Kyle Bush behind me. Oh god, oh god. Kyle, please. Taking the air off of my rear. I 
kind of want to pit now since we're at the halfway lap, but I think I'll wait a couple laps because, again, caution. Nice and smooth. Excuse me. I'm not making that relationship any better. I love how they break super early for turn three, but super late for turn one. Meanwhile, I'm the opposite. It doesn't really clash well. I have to say. Alright, 30 to go. It also doesn't help that I keep taking such wide entries in turn one. I need to stop that. Back and forth, and back and forth. And back and forth we race. I don't think I got a worn tire message yet. At least tire wear is pretty good. Ooh, so close to that damn pit wall. The fact that it's not like a straight wall either makes me does me even a bigger concern because it's like, what's the hitbox on this thing? Alright, I'm going to pit next lap. And four tire blows. Oh shit, it's going to blow in tires. I'm just going to flat spot them. How about that? <laughs> That'll work. I have to say, through all this shenanigans and stuff, I've only lost like 5-6 seconds to Hornaday after my initial major fuck up. That's not that bad. Speaking of tire wear, by the way. I'll lower the pressure a bit. Wedge. Lower the pressure a little more. Yeah, that'll work. And before it doesn't. Go. The epic cobbler pit stop at Milwaukee. Oh boy. Lightning fast 15 seconds. Alright, now stay on the apron. Actually, you know what? No one's here. I don't give a shit about the improper merge. Away we go. At least I get to chill on my own for a couple laps to get heat in these tires. It's more of a blessing than you think. Also, heck yeah, and last. I'm behind all of the, uh the, uh, yeah, the undercutters, that's it. Oh God, please, no. None of that. slide is no. <clears throat> we 
good. We're good. I'll get my own national team eventually. Absolutely. Next season, in fact. It's the way the season's been going. I'll have more than enough money to get my own Bush car and probably fully upgrade it as well. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is having enough money to get my own cup team for... or be able to afford my own cup team for Season 5. I hope I have enough dollarinos by then. God, people pitting, people lifting to avoid the pits. Just joined what happened. I started in last, and a pit cycle is happening. Hey, Hornaday's in from his like 20 second lead. Oh God, these guys are pitting. I'm nope. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill up here slightly. Because of that. I'd rather not ram into somebody who's, uh, you know, as a drop into pit lane. Am I clear? Am I clear? I'm clear. Okay. Still kind of hoping that I can maybe get a top 30 finish in this race, but I doubt it at this point, to be honest. Also a very dirty overtake. Just, I'm just going to go up here. So I'm not sure who in front of me still has to pit. Going to take it the safe way. Okay, maybe a top 30 is actually possible here. Don't want to go for a move. This shit needs to cycle through so I can, like, actually go for some dives into turn three without being worried about dying. So holy crap, blue. That was close. That was very close. Screw it. Three wide. On the yellow line. Okay. That was really risky. Apparently the guy I dove under was uh, heading into the pits. All right. Luckily, I, got, I cleared him before he uh, dove in. So, hooray! Also, looks like everything's cycled through now. Hornaday back into the lead. Probably still a massive lead. What is happening here, Ashton? Why are you going so slow? Well then. Suddenly, I'm doing a lot. I, I'm doing a lot better than I was expecting. Hey, Celine. I'm like, okay, I could probably get a top 30 finish, maybe. Meanwhile, running 18th. Well, I'll get the top 30 as long as you know things don't happen, which can very easily happen considering car's still a bit eh. A little bit sketchy on corner entry. At least these term three dive bombs are working. This or Dirt's Daytona, dude. I'd take Dirt's Daytona any day, Arrow. Also, hi, Dad. In low skid, Dad. What up, my dude? Of course, I'm probably in the minority when I say Dirt's Daytona is, you know. Not only my favorite, or but I also consider it the best NASCAR game. Fight me, NRO3 fans. No, don't. I'm, I'm, I'm fragile. Oh, 
Oh my god. Fuck Mary Kill Dirt to Daytona this Thunder 2003. Uh, Mary Dirt to Daytona so I can spend the rest of my life with it. Um, I would probably kill this game just because I would fuck Thunder 03 for its uh, very in depth career mode. I don't know, man, though. Because, like, that's only Cup. Okay, I retract my statement. I'd fuck this game and I'd kill 03. Thunder 03. Because while the career mode in uh, Thunder 03 is better than this one, this one has more stuff to do and man it. Or, well, not manage, more stuff to do. More different stuff to do. Ten laps to go, and I'm somehow on pace for a top ten finish. Maybe. Holy shit. Didn't think that was going to happen, considering how the first half of this race went. It went bad. Alright, Casey doesn't hate me that much. Good. I don't have to worry about him. I don't have to worry about him doing something stupid. By the way, Arrow, how's the uh, the FM7 Skid Boy update? I saw some very happy tweets about it. Top 10, boys! Somehow. Can't wait to see this margin of victory, by the way. Because look where Hornaday is. <laughs> like, I'm in 10th place and I'm still half a lap behind him. I don't know, Celine. Like, Hornaday's just been in another freaking... Holy shit. I think he's secretly driving a cup car. In this race. Also, why is this happening? I need not be on the outside. Oh god. No. Bad. 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 Okay. Bring it back down. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to be an empty box. Can't do that shit in this game. As I continue to do that, try to do that shit. Bring it down. There we go. That's more gooder. Now, five to go. I can still get a top ten. Maybe. Depends on how much my tires will allow it. Oh, Casey, please. Don't do that. How can anyone beat Dominant NASCAR Oval Tracks? Setup. Preparation. Just, just the same way anybody can be dominant on a road course. Car setup and driver skill. Just because you're only turning the wheel in one direction doesn't make it any different. Ooh, excuse me. Keller? Yeah, that was Keller. I'm trying to remember my name driver names here. Please. Help me get clear of Casey before the turn. I don't know how that worked. I sincerely do not know how that worked. Bad NASCAR still failing, failing series. Hopefully, with Brian France like out of the picture, hopefully forever, it can get good again. Make NASCAR great again. Clear, clear. 
please. Undo all the travesties that Brian has put into the sport. The fucking moron. Anyways, final lap. Hornaday takes a very, very easy win. It's about as dominant as I was in the truck race here. In the previous segment. Meanwhile, oh god. Going, taking a very, very dirty 7th place. Okay. Holy shit. But still, 7th from last place, especially after the start of the, uh, ouch. Like the first half of this race went, damn. Okay, so Hornaday won by 8 seconds. And second place finished seven seconds ahead of third, so, uh... Man, top three was spread out. It's like a damn F1 race. You got the top three, and then you got everybody else. <laughs> and there I am in seventh. Which, again, surprisingly really good run. So, yeah. Woo. But here are the rest of the race results. Three cars finished a lap down. Because Horn Day too good. And yeah. Alright, so. Celebrating our seventh place in the garage. Yeah. Woo. Getting some more prestige and more hero points that I don't need. And I have a message. Man, you are tearing it up out there lately. And your positions in the standings are proof of it. So keep on finishing like you've been doing, and we'll be right in there in the hunt at the end. Thank you, Ace, for reminding me how well this season is going somehow. Cool. So yeah, still second in the points. I'm actually gained points on uh, Kyle there. <clears throat> but most importantly, Hornaday gained points on Kyle, which is what matters. In terms of that championship chase. Because I won't be second there forever. So... That turned into, pr into a pretty damn good race. I'm honestly surprised. Hopefully your next race is can go well as well. Because that'd be cool. Anyway, stay tuned for more NASCAR. <laughs>